I lived in Melbourne, I lived in Dubai, I lived in Sydney, I lived in Minnesota. Yeah. I've been all over the place. The Bachelorette star Charlie Newling has died aged 36 after his car plunged off a cliff. The tragic news comes just two months after the 36-year-old reality star welcomed his second child. Newling's car fell off a cliff in Dover Heights, Sydney on Saturday night, it has been confirmed. Locals contacted the police after spotting the dad's car on fire at the bottom of the 70-meter cliff, as reported by Mail Online. His death is not being treated as suspicious. Newling found fame on the 2018 series of Australia's The Baccalaureate, where he was dubbed Mr. Perfect by fans at the time. After leaving the show, he welcomed his daughter with partner Crystal Taylor in July this year. Newling also has a 13-year-old son from a past relationship. The troubled star hit headlines a few times over the years. During his time on the show, viewers claimed he was controlling towards Uchin and wouldn't introduce her to his family until they were an exclusive couple. He was soon booted off the show, and he was soon spotted being wrestled to the ground at a pub in Sydney. Charlie explained he was drinking and celebrating with friends when the fight started with bouncers late at night. It was later revealed he had a son from an old relationship that he didn't tell anyone on the show about. In September 2022, he was sentenced to 13 months in prison after threatening to torture and kill his stepfather. The threats were sent in 37 text messages sent over a three-hour period. I'm going to kill him one day in front of you before I go, one of the messages read. You have no idea what I'm capable of, but just know it's not going to be pretty, another one said. The reality star served one month in custody in the lead-up to the sentencing and was later ordered to serve his sentence in the community. Magistrate Ross Hudson heard he had endured considerable childhood trauma. His father became paraplegic when Charlie was a teenager and died in 2018 from a pain medication overdose. The court also heard he struggled with alcohol abuse. However, Magistrate Hudson said the messages would have caused fear, torment, and horror for the star's mother and stepfather. In 2021, he was convicted of low-range drink driving. Following his death, fans took to social media to pay tribute to him. One user wrote on Facebook, another young life lost deepest sympathy to his family, while another commented, so sad, prayers for his family. <laughs>